robots come in all different shapes and sizes, but are frequently classed by their degrees of freedom. Each direction of movement on the robot is considered an axis of movement. This robot rotates at the waist, bends forward and back at the shoulder, and moves vertically at the elbow. Each single movement axis is equal to one degree of freedom. This particular robot is equal to six degrees of freedom. It moves along one axis for each of the waist, shoulder, and elbow joints and along three axes at the wrist using pitch, roll, and yaw. These particular motions help to locate the tool in the work area and are called position axes. Most robots have at least three position axes to help position the tool in the work area. If the robot were to slide along a track, it would have a fourth position axis of linear movement and another degree of freedom. While the position axes locate the tool in the work area, the orientation axes help orient the tool in relation to the workpiece. The types of movement along orientation axes are defined as pitch, roll, and yaw. These movements all occur from the same joint, the wrist, but along three distinct axes. This type of movement is most easily illustrated as it relates to aircraft movement. The robot's tool moves in the same way. Pitch moves the tool vertically. Roll rotates the tool about its center axis. Yaw turns the tool left and right. The position axis movement at the waist, shoulder, and elbow, along with the orientation axis movement of pitch, roll, and yaw, allow the robot to accomplish its tasks within the work envelope. Online programming occurs when the robot is online or in an operational mode. The two types of programming we will discuss here are teach pendant programming and lead through programming. A teach pendant, also called a teach box, is a handheld control and programming unit connected to the robot via a cable. Teach pendants can be touchscreen, keyboard, joystick, or other computer interface. All typically have an emergency stop button since the robot is operating with the technician in the work envelope. More modern teach pendants can also be wireless. Teach pendant programming is a method by which the operator steps the robot through the program point by point by point while recording the coordinates for each point. The technician has the ability to send the robot to a desired position, inch or jog to adjust it, and then record the point. The technician may also change the speed since a low speed is usually required for careful positioning or while test running through a new or modified routine. ANSI standards recommend a speed of no more than 10 inches per second when programming. Once the technician has recorded and tested the program, the teach pendant is disconnected and the robot can operate the stored program at full speed. Teach pendant programming is often associated with controlled path and point-to-point -point control. Lead-through programming, which is typically associated with continuous path control, is a method by which the technician physically guides the computer through the desired program. This method, also called lead-through-the-nose programming, is used most often in spray paint and welding applications. 
it requires very little programming skills and allows experienced technicians to accomplish the work using the robot while the controller records each step. This method typically takes less time to accomplish than teach pendant programming. Online programs can typically be edited for speed, point error correction, and small modifications once the initial programming is complete. Advantages of online programming include ease of use, little or no programming skills required, and the speed at which a program can be created. The disadvantages of online programming are the requirement to shut down the production line while programming is occurring and that the technician typically has to be in the work envelope while the robot is operating, which exposes him to greater risk of damage.